parallelogram law. Let us consider two vectors a and b represent the adjacent sides of the parallelogram. Let vector r represent the sum of two vectors a and b and denoted by the diagonal of the parallelogram. In order to explain the parallelogram law of vector addition, what I am going to do, I am going to consider a vector a. So this is my vector a and this is my vector b. So what I need to do, I need to find the sum of these two vectors. So the sum of these two vectors is vector r which is this vector. You must be wondering why do we call it a parallelogram law because what I am going to do, I am going to draw a parallelogram using vector a and b. So as you can see this is my vector a. I am going to draw a vector a over here. So this is my vector a. So technically what I am doing, I am just moving this vector a from here to here. I am not changing the length or the shape of the vector. I am just changing the position of the vector. So you can see like we are just drawing the same kind of vector over here. So now as you can see vector r is vector a plus vector b but I need to complete the parallelogram. As you can see I am missing a side over here. So what I am going to do, I am going to draw a vector exactly same as vector b. So this is my vector and this is my vector b. So now as you can see this is a four sided figure exactly look like a parallelogram. Now if I want to find the sum of two vectors a and b either I can consider the upper part part of the parallelogram and I will get a plus b is equal to r or I can consider the lower part of the parallelogram and I will get exactly the same thing r is equal to a plus b. So the sum of the resultant vector r is given as vector r is equal to vector a plus vector b. In other words it doesn't matter which way you add the vectors you will get exactly the same resultant vector because technically both the two vectors are the same in the upper part of the parallelogram and the lower part of the parallelogram. 